Uh, hey folks, just wanted to hop on and, and talk a little bit about uh, the Milo Start camera and how it works with Game Changer. I know uh, it's a recommendation that's been uh, you probably seeing here on these pages and, and are kind of curious about it or maybe you have one currently and are having a lot of issues um, with streams dropping or lagging or, or, or issues like that. Um, this video is going to kind of touch on, on both those things for the new years, news users and uh, maybe uh, users that are having issues with the, the Mevo Start camera. So let's get right into it. Just real quick disclaimer right up front. I'm in no way affiliated affiliated with Mevo at all. I'm just uh, a dad who's used these cameras for sports streaming and, and I want to share some of the real world experience that I've had and what's worked and, and what hasn't and really how to get the most out of it. So the Mevo Start, it's a really cool little camera. Shoots in 1080p, has a solid built-in mic. Uh, these things run for hours. I've used it for you know, close to six hours at a tournament and, and just on one charge and it runs great. It's also super e easy to control through the Mevo app on your phone. And also these integrate directly with Game Changer, which obviously makes live streaming games pretty seamless once you have everything set up and, and good to go. But, and this is a big one, uh, the camera is really only part of your setup. The real key to quality live streaming is your internet connection and, and that's where most issues are popping up with users. Um, so you can use your phone's hotspot to connect Mevo to the internet, but uh, you know the truth about that is that the phones are not reliable for this at all. I repeat, phones are not reliable for this at all. Uh, they prioritize their own data use most times and they can get throttled and in crowded areas like tournaments or busy parks, your speeds are going to drop fast and uh, that means laggy or, or drop streams altogether. So if you want consistent, reliable streams to Game Changer, I highly recommend a dedicated mobile hotspot. Uh, this is the one I use. This is the uh, Insego M2000 MiFi hotspot. Uh, this guy is um, 5G ready, fast, and it performs way, way better under load than a phone. Uh, mine's kind of beat up here. Don't, don't pay attention to that. It still runs. Uh, this one works great. It's just I haul it around in a backpack with other stuff and kind of got beat up. but. Um, but with this, I've had a, a, a lot of smooth, just uninterrupted streams, uh, even at packed fields, uh, using this uh, this device here. But really, if you if you really want to lock it in, and uh, you pair this pair the the hotspot with a, a Slate AXT 1800 travel router, this is going to give you a very stable uh, local Wi-Fi network, just for your Mevo and and maybe your scoring iPad or, or iPhone too, which uh, makes the whole system way more reliable and easy to manage. Also. Using this, you're gonna get the range is is, is, is a lot. Um, I uh, I live stream softball, and I'm able to connect this router to my three infield cameras, my iPad, and even a camera in center field about 200 feet away from the router, and it connects all of that. So that is where the strength of, of using something like this uh, comes into play here. So um, now, and I think this is important if you're planning on using just one Nevo Star camera. You might want to take a, a minute and really think about whether you really need the Mevo or not. One of the biggest strengths of the Mevo system is when you use multiple cameras, like a multi-angle setup, and that's, you know, you'll see some of the videos that I put up, and, and that's kind of what I use, but um, that's where this system, you know, really shines. It's with the ability of it to switch views and, and make it feel more like a full broadcast for your viewers at home or, and all that, but um, if, you're, if you're just putting one camera behind home plate and just hitting go live, your phone can do that too. And often just as well, especially if you've got a newer phone with a decent camera. So unless you're building a multi-cam setup or want the Mevo's battery life and clean look, your phone might honestly be the simpler and more cost-effective route, to be honest. Uh, again, I'm a big Mevo fan and, and I really like the cameras, but if I was just using one, your, you know, your best bet, uh, would be to just take a, a mount for your, your fence or whatever and, and throw your phone in that and you can just use your phone to, to stream. Uh, so just a few quick tips here. You're going to want to test your uploads, uh, upload speeds before games. Um, I use Speedify. Speedify is a great app. Um, you're able to test all the speeds and the reason kind of why I brought up uh, you know the iPhone's hotspot and, and a dedicated hotspot is because yesterday I was running some um, some speed tests on Speedify, and the uh, the upload speeds for a phone's hotspot range. Uh, obviously, they, they they vary, but I was getting around maybe two uh, megabytes per second. Um, optimal for uh, any live streaming you're going to want 
anywhere between uh, four and six megabytes per second minimum. I mean, if you can get more, you get more. Uh, when I ran the speed tests with the, uh, the MiFi, this was getting me about 25 megabytes per second. Again, they will, they will vary depending on your location and such, but this is a way better option than your phone. Um, so that's kind of why I brought that up. Um, so again, you're gonna wanna avoid using your phone's hotspot if you can. Uh, also just use power banks. Power, this is a pretty standard power bank. I got on Amazon, I think it was $20, nothing crazy, and, and these work really well. Um, also, just as a side note, remember, the uh, Slate AXT 1800 router is gonna give you a lot of range uh, if you need it for like a multi-cam setup like I use, uh, or just to build a, a, a Wi-Fi network in the area that you're you know, you're doing your games are at. So, um, so yeah, the, the, the Mevo Start is a great tool uh, when used in the you know, right. Uh, but just remember, the camera's only as good as your connection. So get the right gear, like the Insego if you want, or there's other ones, and a Slate router, and you'll get way smoother, way more reliable streams. So if you're planning to stream just using one Mevo Start, no worries, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you exactly how to go live through Game Changer uh, using just that one camera. Uh, I'll work on that walkthrough here and I'll probably put that at the end of the video. I'll also just include some clips of uh, some of the, you know, some of the uh, footage that I've gotten on my cameras. Uh, that way it, you can see them and say, hey, you know what, if that's something that I wanna do it, you can reach out to me, send me a message. Always, as always, if you got questions or, or want help figuring out your setup, drop them in the comments or just you know shoot me a message but uh, I hope this video um, is informative and helps anybody that's kind of wanting to get into the Mevo uh, platform and see uh, how it works and stuff like that that's what this video is for or people that already have Mevos right now that are experiencing issues with uh, connectivity but uh, that's pretty much it for now man uh, appreciate you guys uh, watching and uh, we'll see you all right guys I just want to uh, make a brief tutorial for if uh, you do have one Mevo start camera and you're wanting to go live on Game Changer. Uh, I know some people have been kind of confused about the process. It's usually, it's pretty simple actually, but you know, it does take a few a few uh, clicks there. So um, let's just kind of go through it here. Um, so you're gonna go on Game Changer, obviously, select the team um, that you're wanting to, to go live with. You're gonna select the event. Now here, you're gonna go to record video. So hit record video. Can either the option of this device or external camera. Obviously, since you're using Amiibo, it would be an external camera. So it actually has a little picture of Amiibo right there. Click on external camera. All right, so this is gonna be your preference regarding video audience. You can either have it as anyone or you can change whatever settings you want here, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. There is a button on the bottom here. It says continue to external camera setup. Click on that. Okay, so here on the bottom, if, if you're using Amiibo Multicam, um, and again, a multiple, multiple camera setup, you're gonna uh, wanna focus on these, but for now that we're just doing the one, um, we're gonna hit start Mevo live stream. Oh, just real quick, I do have a, a tutorial on if you are using a multi-cam setup on how to do uh, the uh, setup for the multi-cam to configure the, uh, the RTMP addresses and all that. So uh, it's a separate video though, all right? So back to one. So you're gonna hit start Mevo live stream. It's a blue button here Click on that. I'm gonna say go live with Game Changer. You're gonna hit launch Mevo app. Okay. So it's gonna come up with this screen here on the bottom. Uh, this is the, the event that we're, we're using right now for today. Uh, for whatever reason, if this comes up with a different team name, um, uh, sometimes it, that happens where it comes up with a different team name, you would hit configure and you can edit the team name. So if you're playing another team, whatever, you're able to go in there and edit that. So uh, we're not gonna worry about that. So once you're here, you're gonna hit this corner, uh, this button in the corner, hit go live. And I have my little camera here. So at this point, it, you'd be going live already. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or, or need help um, with this. Oh, one thing to note also, if you have a, um, a dedicated, you, you are gonna need a dedicated device to have the Mevo app running. Um, if you have an iPad Pro like I have, you can actually use Stage Manager um, to have the Mevo app running in the background, and then you can have Game Changer in the front, and you can be scoring through Game Changer. If you don't have that feature on your iPad, the Stage Manager feature, which is pretty easy to, uh, to enable, uh, it's on pretty much all iPad Pros from what I understand, um, you're gonna have to have two devices, one to score with Game Changer and one to have open um, the Mevo app. So, 
It does need two if you don't have an iPad Pro. Um, the way I do it, I, I, I do have an iPad Pro, but I do use two devices anyways. When I'm using one Mevo app, which, uh, one, sorry, one Mevo camera, which I, I don't really do. But, uh, but yeah, I hope this answers any questions. If you guys have any uh, anything else you want to, to know or, or learn about, go ahead and uh, message me or, or put a comment below. All right, thanks.